Article 7. The ratification of the conventions of nine states shall be sufficient for the establishment of this constitution between the states so ratifying the same. Done in convention by the unanimous consent of the states present the 17th day of September in the year of our Lord 1787 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 12th in witness whereof we have hereunto subscribed our names. George Washington, President and Deputy from Virginia. New Hampshire, John Langdon, Nicholas Gilman. Massachusetts, Nathaniel Gorham, Rufus King. Connecticut, William Samuel Johnson, Roger Sherman. New York, Alexander Hamilton. New Jersey, William Livingston, David Brearley, William Patterson, Jonathan Dayton. Pennsylvania, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Mifflin, Robert Morris, George Clymer. Thomas Fitzsimmons, Jared Ingersoll, James Wilson, Governor Morris, Delaware, George Reed, Gunning Bedford June, John Dickinson, Richard Bassett, Jacob Broom, Maryland, James McHenry, Dan of St. Thomas Jennifer, Daniel Carroll, Virginia, John Blair, James Madison Jr., North Carolina, William Blount, Richard Dobbs Spate, Hugh Williamson, South Carolina, John Rutledge, Charles Coatsworth Pinckney, Charles Pinkley, Pierce Butler, Georgia, William Few, Abraham Baldwin, attest, William Jackson, Secretary. In convention Monday, September 17th, 1787, present, the states of New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Mr. Hamilton from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, resolved that the preceding Constitution be laid before the United States in Congress assembled, and that it is the opinion of this convention that it should afterwards be submitted to a convention of delegates chosen in each state by the people thereof, under the recommendation of its legislature, for their assent and ratification, and that each convention assenting to and ratifying the same should give notice thereof to the United States in Congress assembled. Resolved, that it is the opinion of this convention that as soon as the conventions of nine states shall have ratified this constitution, the United States in Congress assembled should fix a day on which electors should be appointed by the states which shall have ratified the same and a day on which the electors should assemble to vote for the president and the time and place for commencing proceedings under this constitution that after such publication, the electors should be appointed and the senators and representatives elected, that the electors should meet on the day fixed for the election of the president and should transmit their votes certified, signed, sealed, and directed, as the Constitution requires, to the Secretary of the United States in Congress assembled, that the senators and representatives should convene at the time and place assigned, that the senators should appoint a president of the Senate for the sole purpose of receiving, opening, and counting the votes for president, and that after he shall be chosen, the Congress, together with the president, should, without delay, proceed to execute this Constitution. By the unanimous order of the convention, George Washington, President, William Jackson, Secretary. Language in brackets has been changed by amendment.